Good morning, everyone. This is Leslie Jufla's with Trading Live Online. And thank you, Stock Charts, for inviting me back for another segment of your Daily Five. And this is where we have 10 minutes to present five charts. And today, it's a little bit of a mix, but we're going to start with the GBTC symbol today, uh, Grayscoin grayscale Bitcoin, um, it's hit a resistance area. So I just want to show that to you and give you some ideas for some potential trade setups. The energy sector has some buy setups in it. And we're going to look at the um, ETF XLE, Schlumberger, and Halliburton. And then I'm going to update. There's a setup also in Apple that I presented on, I think it was August 27th on the show, The Pitch with David Keller. So let's get right to the charts. Okay, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. This is a, kind of a good proxy for Bitcoin. I followed this now for a while, all the way back uh, last fall, a year ago, there was a big coil in it, had a breakout to the upside, as you can see on the chart, made a top, and then uh, went into a range. And it covered those in different segments. <clears throat> we can see we've had the breakout to the downside. It found support uh, in late July, early August in a rally to the upside. Well, now where this blue line is, it's hit a wall of resistance up here. You can see where that red arrow is, there is a gap there. And if we look back, there was a larger gap on the upside. So not surprising that it hit the resistance there. We had a bit of a one, two, three drive to the top pattern and a little A, a B, a C, D pattern. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about those patterns in just a minute. This dashed line right here, we're going to scale down to a 60 minute chart and we're going to take a little bit um, closer view of the price action here. I think any rally up within this area, any retracement type of a pattern will be a short trade setup and risk can be placed just above this large bar. But this is a bearish engulfing uh, candlestick pattern and these will generally get resistance around that 50% mark. So let's take a look now at this 60 minute chart scaling down the dashed line. This is what we just saw on the daily chart. So it did trade up to that level, but what I would be looking for if it doesn't exceed the low down here, if it gets a little bit more down and then back up, that might set up a really nice sell pattern again with the risk um, placed just above there. And then I put the retracements on from the lows of July. And you can see where the 382, 50, 618, there should be maybe some support around this area, which is in that 50 and 618 area. So that's it. And I would, if you do follow the Bitcoin and, and a lot of those um, digital currencies, then you're probably going to find a lot of similar setups such, uh, such as this. Okay, let's move on since we only have 10 minutes <laughs> today. Let's move on. I uh, will move kind of quickly through these charts, but these um, in the energy sector are all buy setup patterns. Um, this is a Gartley buy pattern that's potentially setting up and I've drawn it in here. And so what a, what a Gartley buy pattern is, it's a retest of a recent higher low. And so this low here up to this high, this is the swing. And then an A, a B, a C, a D, generally around equal lengths. There's, there's a little bit more to it than that, but we don't have quite all the time today to cover it. But here's A, B, C, D. So the D completion point uh, on XLE is right around the 46 area. And then risk, it's placed with these patterns just below that X point. So when you're monitoring the structure of these patterns, then you can in advance um, be able to figure out where entry points are, where risk levels are, and also where potential targets are. Now here I've, I've drawn in from the high to the low, the retracements back up, and that helps to calculate what the potential uh, profit targets might be. I've drawn in these two dashed lines here, and this may form, if this pattern plays out, 
uh, and then turns back up, it may then form an ABCD cell pattern up around these retracement areas. So that's sort of a kind of a quick tutorial on how you can identify the pattern and then again, figure it out for trading purposes. Um, so let's move on now to the next one. Schlumberger has a similar pattern to it. Now it formed um, in July and August, a larger ABCD buy pattern, made this double bottom right down here, had a rally back up. It's about, um, that's about a seven, eight, six retracement from the high of the A and then down. And now it looks like it's forming another ABCD Gartley buy pattern. So here's the low, that's the X, there's the swing and the ABCD is contained within that swing. So the same thing for uh, <clears throat> SLB is that an entry would be around, this D point is right around the 27-ish area, and the risk would be placed below this D point here, 2590, so that again gives you an idea of how you can look at the risk rewards, and then you'd be looking for retracements back up. I usually use the retracement of the actual pattern first and then look at larger retracements for that. Now, what would negate, <clears throat> excuse me, negate this is that if this price level did not come down to this completion point and but turned up, <clears throat> turned up first, um, that would negate the structure of this pattern. But these are pretty easy. Once you see it here, they're pretty easy to monitor to to kind of see if you get that set up or not. So the next chart we're looking at is Halliburton. And this was a butterfly buy down in late, uh, middle to late August, a rally up. And now there's a, another Gartley buy forming. So the butterfly patterns have the ABCD. The difference between that and the Gartley is your C to D leg extends beyond that X point. The Gartley pattern, the ABCD is contained within it. Uh, this, um, of course, the Gartley, as I mentioned, is a retracement pattern and it's a test of a recent higher low. So this pattern, if it comes down, price makes it down to D here, then it's retesting this low. And again, the risk would be uh, placed below here. On this particular pattern, the D point is coming in just above 19, right around $19.30, right around that area. And the low here is 17.80. And then again, be looking for retracements to the upside um, for the potential profit targets. And there's different methods for, um, you can scale out in you know, partials, you can um, design a trading plan with one full exit. It just, a lot of uh, different factors. But you do have to have some trading plan <laughs> to go with these. You know, the last chart I wanted to look at today, I wanted to update this Apple chart. Um, this morning, it, it hit um, the top of this trend line. I presented this chart on August 27th. So you can look up the show on Stock Charts YouTube called The Pitch. And uh, I think it was back, back around here, there was a little small butterfly sell pattern here. Been, Apple had been making a series of larger sell patterns. So I had been looking at the, um, if it did not turn from this little area here, had been looking at an extension up right around this 1618, which is if we take the length of this AB, we multiply it by 1.618, add it to the low of this C, that, that gives us what that number is up here. And that was coinciding with this projected uh, upper trend line. So Apple has hit this resistance. Uh, and so this, this setup is complete. And for traders looking, um, this is a, a short sale. Uh, and the expectation would be back down to at least around the middle of the range. If it's a stronger move back down towards the lower end uh, where the lower trend line is. Uh, and again, the risk reward can be figured out just right. 
you know, above the high of that bar is where the risk uh, would go. But one thing I wanted to also mention with this particular pattern is that I have moving averages on here. The, the blue line is the 50 uh, EMA and the red line is the 20. And the pattern recognition is always going to, just using the price uh, and the patterns, is always going to give the optimal entry. You give away a lot on entries using waiting for like a moving average crossover such, such as this. As many times once the moving averages cross over, the profit targets are already there and book to profit and can you know manage the stop loss. So it's a it's a matter of um, better trade location using these types of patterns um, versus later entries um, and using these as a confirmation. So I just thought this was a good illustration to point that out. Okay, so that covers it for the charts we're going to cover today. A lot of good setups in here. Um, the risk, I think, is well defined. Uh, always the most important thing to look at the risk of your trade. I just wanted to show this to you real quick too. Um, my website, tradingliveonline.com. If you are interested in learning about the um, pattern structures, I have a three and a half hour course there. This is, this is what it is. And this is what it covers. If you have any questions, feel free to email and I'll include uh, my PDF book with that. Uh, Essentials of trading is not what you think, it's how you think. So once again, I'll see you on the next Your Daily Five. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.